climate change. One of the most discussed topics of the last two decades and by far one of the most important issues to be tackled. It comes as no surprise that many countries are taking great initiatives to save energy and reduce emissions, to move towards a sustainable future. And one of them happens to be the fastest developing country in the world, India. India has made remarkable strides in the development of industry, infrastructure and energy. But with an ever-growing population, keeping up with the pace has not been an easy feat, especially when it comes to dealing with climate change. At the COP26 in 2021, Prime Minister Narendra Modi declared the country's goal to attain carbon neutrality by the year 2070. With this new goal in mind, India needs to take innovative energy-saving measures and reduce CO2 emissions in every industry and sector. One way to quickly get started is to improve the existing facilities and where else to begin but with one of the most vital resources of any economy, steel. Today, India is the second largest producer and exporter of steel in the world with over 118.2 million tons of crude steel produced in a year. Yet the amount of crude steel per capita is still one-fifth of that of developed countries. India's economy will keep on growing and so will the production of steel. But this will invariably result in greater CO2 emissions and energy consumption. A system is therefore needed to efficiently address this growing demand. A system built with Japanese expertise and technological advancement. Japan is a country that lacks natural resources. Yet this challenge hasn't stopped the Japanese from becoming global leaders in technology for energy efficiency and saving. The situation brought about a dramatic change after the 1970s oil crisis. And with the establishment of NATO in 1980, the progress has been exponential. NATO is a Japanese research and development management organization that creates innovation by promoting technological development necessary for the realization of a sustainable society. ネドはインドにおいてこれまで10件の実証事業を実施してきましたが、今回はエネルギー多少資産業の一つであるテッコー業に焦点を当て、西ベンガル州バンプールにあるインド最大のテッコー会社セールの工場にて事業を実施しました
to demonstrate an advanced energy management system which can monitor and control different energy sources simultaneously to meet the demands of each facility of a steel plant. Energy Center の役割具体的にはエネルギーを効率よく有効活用することにより省エネ CO2 削減の実現とそのための運転指示などを浸透させることが課題でした。まずはエネルギーセンターに弊社の分散制御システム、最適化システムを設置したことにより、製鉄所全体のエネルギーの見える化が可能となり、省エネ、CO2 削減意識が向上しました。さらに、関係部署への運転指示により、無駄なエネルギーを削減する必要があります。エネルギーセンターの担当者の方々と共同で、最適化システムから導かれる最適な支持値による運用を実施させたことで、省エネ、CO2 削減効果は実感でき、意識が高まったことで、課題を解決することができました。However, there was no work order or MOU at that time which created difficulties. But with the combined efforts of NEDO, SAIL, ISP, Banpur, and Fuji Electric officials, we were able to accomplish the task. This led us to successfully set up the energy management system. In the first project under NEDO, Fuji Electric provided the systems and transmitters while the engineers at SAIL set up the SCADA system. It was a collaborative effort between two countries and it laid the foundation for a fruitful partnership. The SCADA system supervises the data acquired from transmitters in different plants and predicts the input and output of energy to manage it more efficiently. The system operates with five state-of-the-art technologies that work in tandem. Unit 1 optimizes power generation. Unit 2 optimizes oxygen facilities. Unit 3 optimizes gas holder facilities. Unit 4 optimizes overall operations. While the last unit visualizes the plant's energy saving potential. This ecosystem of technologies is what empowers steel manufacturers to make a higher quality product without having to compromise in cost. During the execution of this project, uh, lots of coordination was required with various departments for capturing the data from Hill to the Energy Monitoring Center. But ultimately, we were able to successfully complete the project with uh, mutual cooperation from NIDO, Fuji, and SailSP Burnpur. Thanks to Fuji Electric System, we now use the world's top class energy optimization operation system. This is the only technology that achieves energy conservation and reduction of CO2 emissions just by optimizing the operation of the entire system. Since the project's implementation, the steel manufacturing plant at Sale has been able to attain a 11% energy conservation effect along with a 9% reduction in CO2 emissions. Projects such as these benefit the country. It paves the way for other manufacturers to adopt such processes because they have been found useful by one producer. It is easy for the other producers then to adopt such processes for producing energy and for producing steel. Imagine the benefits if the same systems were applied to the whole country and abroad. An improvement of this scale is a monumental stepping stone for sale and the steel industry in India. But the Fuji Sail project was the first of many to come for NATO. The beginning of a long and fruitful journey. In its efforts to decarbonize India and the world, NADO will always strive to facilitate projects that allow Japanese businesses to engage businesses in India. And with the success stories like these, the hope of creating a better and more sustainable future is no longer a distant dream.
など。<音楽>